Uh, welcome to Hornby Wood Hedgehog Sanctuary. Uh, just a quick, a uh, few tips really. So it's um, autumn time. Um, what we're going to be doing is cleaning out hedgehog houses and putting out feeding stations. So this is the time of the year, obviously, when hedgehogs start to hibernate. Um, ideally, you only really need to do like a cleaning of hedgehog house once a year. Um, the best time is kind of the end of September. We're in all, early October at the moment. Um, so today, what we're going to do is we're going to clear out one of the hedgehog houses, um, making sure it's all nice and habitable for this year's hibernating hedgehogs. Um, so what we'll do first is get some bedding, um, of which I use hay. So let's get a bale of this. Okay. So we uh, we bale hay at the sanctuary. Got about ten acres, um, which produces enough bales actually for uh, a good year's supply for the hedgehogs. So we use probably about a bale, bale and a half every day, ish. Uh, depending on how many hedgehogs we have in rehabilitation. Um, so hay is really good for bedding the hedgehogs. Uh, it, the only problem with it is it does get damp and it does get wet. You can use straw and straw is very good as well. But straw is waterproof, it's just not as good for uh, insulation. That's all. So anyway, let's get a nice chunk of it. That'll do. There we go. Okay. Oh, there's a hedgehog out. Hello. There's a healthy hedgehog. He's um lost an eye and he's blind in the other eye, I think. Not 100 percent sure yet. Uh he hasn't been cleaned out today. Anyway. Let's go and do this. Um, yeah, so autumn time's a good time of the year to do this. Cleaning out hedgehog houses if you've got any garden. Um, so the hoglets have all finished. There's a chance, obviously, that they still can uh, be um, hoglets about, but very unlikely. The peak season, spring, summertime, obviously, is the most prominent time for hoglets. But you can get late autumn um, litters as well, which can be problematic because they don't survive the winter period, obviously. Uh, they need to be a certain weight to survive hibernation. About 600 grams-ish, 650, is a good weight over the winter period. Below that, so if they're about 400 grams over the winter period, there's about, I think statistically, 50-50 chance of them surviving hibernation. <coughs> um, so yeah, about 600 grams is a good weight. A lot of the hedgehogs we get in over winter are around the 350 gram mark-ish that um, are underweight. Right. So this is, <coughs> this is a hedgehog garden actually. This is, um, one of the hedgehog houses. Now I use all different types of hedgehog houses, so um, some of them are not actually hedgehog houses, but they're repurposed. And this is a repurposed one, which is a, I guess a rabbity type house, but it works. It's not ideal though. You really want a proper hedgehog house. So, put that hay there. And, Put the phone down here. Really simple process. So we just get out the old, so the old hay you can see, it's quite damp and wet. Um, it's not the end of the world. Hedgehogs live in kind of damp conditions, but obviously dry hay is much better. So this is old hay. There's no hedgehog in here. I've just checked prior to doing this. So what I normally do is I just throw the hay out somewhere close by, kaboom. And if they want to use it again, they can, but it will just rot down if not. Um, so 
Uh, normally there's bugs and stuff in here, which I can see there are in here as well. Now the thing is with these, obviously uh, ticks can be in here because hedgehogs been in here. Um, mites and other creepy coolies, lots of creepy coolies I see. No mites, no ticks. So that's good. So what you can do, don't clean them out with any harsh chemicals, but you can clean out with water, give them a good scrub down, um, which sorts them out. Um, and that's all you need to do, to be honest with you. So let's put some new, I mean, you can, there are some powders and things like that. You can get Johnson Johnson's powders that get rid of like mites and ticks and there's nothing wrong with that the powder stuff is better because you can kind of uh, spray the powder on the base use a brush to sort of um, spread it out I'm going to put a good amount of hay in here that's pretty good so there we go there's that one done also feeding stations so uh, you should never really stop feeding hedgehogs or supplementing their diet all year round is a good time to feed them this is a feeding station, um, I have cleaned it, uh, so we'll just fill this up. So these are really easy to make. Plastic tub, can be anything really, even wood, uh, with a small hole, about 13 centimeters, about the size of a CD. Um, if it's sharp around the edges, put some tape around here. Um, you don't need a base to it, but I keep a base to it. Um, two bowls of water and food, and, and that will stop the larger mammals eating the food but allow the hedgehogs to have a good munch in peace uh, I normally put dried food out um, which is probably better to be honest with you because if you put any wet based food within a day you'll get flies all over it whereas this stuff it won't get flies this is actual hedgehog food this stuff doesn't get flies over it well a fly larva should I say and we stick the top on there and I'll stick a log on top but a brick will do and that allows the hedgehog to come in there and eat peacefully so there we go so yep good time of the year to start thinking about putting uh, hedgehog houses out um, hibernation starts and if you can clean out the hedgehog houses now it's a good time of the year to do it all right thank you very much see you soon